You know, when I started putting this story together, I asked a lot of plastic surgeons if they had any superstitions or rituals they went through before, during, or after the surgery at hand. And almost everybody right at the beginning said, no, I'm just concentrating on the science and the surgery right in front of me. But I was persistent, and sure enough, some of them shared with me their secret superstition. I always have a little coffee in the morning. I don't have it at home, and I don't have it until I have marked the patient. I have actually a spot marked on one of my coffee cups. That's my max. I can reach that amount of coffee in that cup. I can have it at a certain time, and that's really probably my biggest ritual in terms of getting ready for surgery. Well, I have some, some really high pink socks that say badass on the back. <laughs> I like those. Mostly I just hold my patient's hands before they go to sleep. I'm always standing right next to them and I hold their hand and I say, I'm here, it's me. If they can't recognize me, they catch my eyes and I hold their hand before they go to sleep and I tell them I'm really proud of them. I don't think that I do anything silly like thinking about numbers or maybe the night before look at the constellation, the stars in the sky. I don't think I do anything, but I probably do something subconsciously. I do wear a very special type of shoe. I think they're cool, they're laceless, and I'm sort of superstitious about that. The ritual I do is I work out every day from 6 to 7 a.m. with my personal trainer before I go do surgery because I don't want to roll out of bed and go to the operating room and be tired. Then I go with my friends and I have coffee every morning because I was taught that if you're a coffee drinker, you need to drink the same amount of coffee you always drink before you do surgery, because it's very important for shaking and all those sort of things. And I have just a little bit of social time, a little bit of unwinding time, and then I start surgery at eight. And I do that ritually every day, and it never changes. And now you know the latest plastic surgery secret. Don't tell anybody, okay? Shh.